If you own a Mastercard, then you probably already know this. The company has been barred from issuing new cards in India by the RBI, stating that it had failed to comply with the regulations that ban financial groups from storing data overseas. RBI had also imposed similar restrictions on American Express and Diners Club in April, reducing their ability to expand in one of their biggest growth markets. The central bank and the government have been trying hard to make India less cash dependent. As a result of which, digital transactions have surged. Officials have said that this reform was vital for reducing the cost of printing cash and for developing India's still largely informal economy and increasing the financial inclusion and also the tax base. The evolution of payments markets in this country of 1.4 billion is being watched across the world. Expansion of financial services creates enormous business opportunities in a market where 20% of the population does not even have bank accounts and just 3% have credit cards. Three fintech groups from India, including Paytm and Policy Bazaar, have recently filed for IPOs. Critics have said that policies such as data localization requirements that tripped up MasterCard and also American Express were designed to bind control over the business activity and to erect trade barriers. Meanwhile, United States has condemned India's policies by calling them discriminatory and also trade distortive. The rules imply that any financial data processed overseas has to be destroyed within 24 hours and stored only in India. Also, companies must submit third-party audits showing compliance. The changes prompted lobbying by US Payments Group saying that all these rules were costly, counterproductive and also encouraged other countries to take such similar steps or measures. Those in the favour of the rule countered that MasterCard, which according to the estimates from Fintech Group PPRO accounted for one-third of India's card market, failed to comply despite of ample opportunities given. The RBI took action after the company missed numerous deadlines that were offered to clarify how it was processing the data. Even Visa was questioned by the regulator in 2020 but was found to be in compliance. Since RBI's ban last month, MasterCard said that it has now submitted a new audit in an effort to address the concerns and the company said that it was hopeful that this latest filing provides the assurances required in order to address the concerns. MasterCard and MX's existing customers were not affected. But this decision of the RBI left Visa as the only unrestricted big foreign payments player in the country. Its biggest rival now is the NPCI, which is set up by the central bank with a consortium of other Indian banks to develop payments infrastructure at the heart of government's policy goals. Its card operator is Rupee, which has issued over 600 million cards, while UPI Mobile Money Network sold 3.2 billion transactions in July, more than double the number last year. The business groups of US have argued that Indian authorities use the regulation to tilt the market in favour of NPCI and other domestic companies so as to encourage national champions in financial services. This year, India invited companies to bid for licences to set up for-profit businesses to compete with the National Payments Corporation of India. Among those were Paytm, Reliance Industries and Tata Group. NPCI chief executive has said that services such as Rupee and UPI have grown because they were well suited for the Indian market, facilitating social security payments and allowing easy mobile money transfers without the usage of cards. The corporation is in talks to set up UPI in other countries as well. There is, however, one form of cashless payment that authorities are not keen on, which is cryptocurrencies. The government views digital tokens as a threat to sovereign control of currency and RBI is considering launching its own digital currency. However, some people have argued that India's efforts to promote digital payments while keeping the market on a tighter leash or control were a reflection of the altering political currents across the world.